welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe, if you're new here, and I sell things on eBay to earn a living. Today's video is a haul video, quite a large one actually. I have already done a part one for this video. I will leave that linked up there at the top of the screen in the eye. Um, so yeah, this is a two-parter. Me and my husband, we went on a little like mini trip to York for a couple of nights and did a lot of sorting while we were there. Uh, I have all these clothes that are on the rail here and then also a few more that didn't fit on the rail because I ran out of hangers. So I will do all this first and then I will show you the rest of it. I've got another bag full of bric-a-brac as well that I will do in a separate haul because you guys will give me a bit of feedback and tell me that you prefer them separated. So I'll do that in a different haul video. I am just going to jump straight into it because there is a lot to get on with and the last video was half an hour long. I would probably put me on in the background whilst you're doing something else. <laughs> do some work or something. Get a cup of tea, something to eat, do a bit of work, a little bit of housework because this is probably going to be quite a long video. Right, so first up is this is a desigual or desigual however you pronounce it um well it was in the top section but i definitely think it's more of a dress uh it could be a tunic i guess and it was seven pounds so we did pay quite a lot for it but on the understanding that i thought it was a dress it comes down to my knee so i mean i'm only five foot two but i'd say it's a dress um it's very typical desigual style and yeah, seven pounds and it's a size. Oh, there's a creaky floorboard there. I probably stood in a really bad spot. Uh, in about a size 12. And I should probably get about 25, maybe 30 for it. Next up is a little bit of Kim and Co. But this is a little different for Kim. It's velvet and it's like a baby pink velvet. And it is a size medium and was £3.99 and I can't resist a little bit of velvet I just can't I love velvet I don't actually like to wear it but I love picking it up I can't resist it this is jigsaw this next piece and I don't usually pick up jigsaw really because I don't find it goes very well but I liked this I thought this was really nice and summery it's like a open knit I guess t-shirt jumper hybrid I always get well confused as to how to list these. Is it a top? Is it a t-shirt? Is it a jumper? I kind of put all those keywords in my in my title. Um, it's 62% linen. It cost me £4.50 and it's in a size large. I just thought it was really nice for this season. So I'll probably list that for around about £20. Next up is also Jigsaw. This is a 14. This was only £2.50. I usually would leave this. This is very creased. It's been stuck in the boot of a car for quite a while. Um, it's really creased. I would usually leave this, but because it was just £2.50 and we're trying to get our listings up a little bit, um, I liked the tie neck. It's really nice and lightweight. It's a lovely colour. So I thought I'd give it a go. I can probably get about 15 I would have thought. Hopefully, anyway. Next up, this is Laura Ashley and it is new with tags. It's this lovely lace, like red wine coloured sleeveless blouse. I quite liked it. It's very posh. It is in a size 16. It was originally six, six pounds, 60 pounds. I paid eight pounds for it. So I did pay up a little bit, but I do like having a nice mixture of pre-owned and new tags in my store. I like having a good, a good mix. Oh, this is a brand that I have actually not picked up before um i've never seen it before uh this is by the brand indie and cold which i believe is an anthropology brand where is it hello it's not gonna show you there we go there's there's half the tag <laughs> there we go and it was four pounds in a medium it's really nice it's just a little t-shirt with pockets and it's got embroidery on it on the sleeves and on the chest it feels linen-y a linen -y, but it might not be what does it say no it's cotton 100 percent cotton 
but I think it's an anthropology brand. If I am wrong, I will correct it on the screen. Um, I didn't look up comps. I think I did that kind of typical, typical Chloe thing where I kind of get a little excited halfway through a really good source and start picking up everything without researching it, which don't do that because you're gonna, it's really bad for your business and you're gonna lose money. Um, but I got excited to find this, I picked it up. This is gorgeous and I might keep it. I did pay up for it because I might keep it. This is, this cost me £6.99. It's only white stuff, but it's really nice material content. I think it's like 60% merino wool or something like that. And it's got some alpaca in it. I just really liked it. It's really chunky knit, which is really bad time of year for it. But I'm proper obsessed with jumpers and cardigans. I can't, it doesn't matter whether it's like 40 degrees outside. I would still wear a knit. I can't help it. Um, so yeah, I did pay up at 6 99 It's in a size 14. And if I was going to sell it, if I don't get on with it, it's like if I find it a bit itchy, because sometimes wool for me, I can, I've got really sensitive skin. If I don't get on with it, I will probably list it for around 25 Next up is more jigsaw, considering I don't usually buy it. Um, this nice extra large mint, not mint green, I'd say maybe more sage green. Uh, cardigan, I think it's got linen in it. Oh no, it's cotton, but it feels linen-y, even though it's cotton. It's really like open knit. It's quite chunky, but open knit. It's quite nice for spring. It's an extra large, I paid four pounds, so I'll probably list that for about 20. I need to speed up a little bit because we still have lots to go through. Uh, this is mint velvet in a size 10, and I really liked the colour of this. It's like a, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's like, it's a bit similar to the flowers on my top, a lilac colour, and it's got a zip at the back. And it is a size 10. And it cost £6.50. So £6.50 is a little bit spenny for uh, a mint velvet top. Why Why did I spend £6.50 on that? Is there anything good about it that made me? Or was it just at that point of the day where... It was probably just that point in the day where I just thought, let's get everything. Oh, next up, I was a bit excited about this. Um, this was £6 and it is a two-piece set. This is by the brand Jill Sander. I do need to do a bit more research on it because the stuff that I've seen go quite high is like cashmere and this isn't, this is just cotton. Um, it looks like it may have, may have shrunk a tiny bit. Um, not properly shrunk, but you know, like the, the bottom's pulled in a little bit, but it's still nice and stretchy. It is just cotton. It's a size 10, I think, but yeah, it's got a vest underneath as well um it's a two-piece so yeah i need to do a bit more research but i'm hoping at least 30 um and it was six pound oh i really like this next piece it's only wool overs but it's just a really cute little preppy kind of cable knit thin cardigan in a really nice color and it was three pounds it's in a size 10 i don't know whether a size 10 i think it's a small they've labeled it as a size 10 it is a small i don't know whether it's or wool or what? I'm not sure. It is silk and cotton. It's very pretty. I really like the colour of it. Next up is this Bowden dress. This was in a shop that was just not given. There was absolutely nothing in it. Very cheap, but there was just nothing in it. And then I stumbled upon this for two ninety nine. It's quite a nice print for uh, a Bowden dress. I was quite happy. Oops, quite happy with that. So yeah, hopefully about 20 back on that one. It is a, it's a faux wrap, like well, wraps over the front and ties, but it's not a proper wrap. And it's in a size 10, so hopefully 20 for that. Next up is a pair of Robel's. These are the Robel Rose 07. Um, Robel's just seem to sell quite well for me, especially if they're like the stretchy with the elastic waist. They're the only ones I pick up. You do want to check the um, style though before you pick them up. These were only £3. Picked up two pairs of these. There was one in my other haul video as well. And they should sell for about 20 I would have thought. 
Next up, some Not Your Daughter's Jeans in a very bright colour. Like, I've got no idea whether these will be any good. I typically sell Not Your Daughter's for anywhere anywhere between like 20 and 25, sometimes 30, depending on the size and style. But these are very bright, so these will probably be around about the £20 mark, but they were £4.50. This is an Orvis skirt. I don't really find all this very often. This feels like linen, but I don't know whether it is. Mm, it's cotton and linen. There you go. All this. It was five seventy-five, so I may have overpaid a bit, but it's just a really nice summer skirt, and I probably won't get a huge amount back for it because women's all this doesn't tend to go for that much. But maybe, maybe about twenty. These are just a pair of white stuffed denim shorts. I've never sold white stuffed shorts before, so I just thought I'd give it a go. They were only £4, and denim shorts always seem to move, so I don't know, maybe 16 17 Some more shorts. These were White Label, White Company. £6.50 I paid for these. I'm not really sure why I paid £6.50 for them. They're in a size 14. And they are typical like white company neutral colour. I do quite like them and I would keep them if they didn't make me look like I was naked. <laughs> they are, I'm so pale that they're pretty much my skin colour. So I can't really get away with it. These are lovely and I need to do some research into these. These are by the brand Morella. There's the tag. Um, and they're just a really nice white trouser they feel really nice quality uh they were five pounds and they're in a size 10 i'm not too sure on pricing for that yet because i do need to do some research but they're a lovely summer trouser hopefully a decent amount back but i can't even guess on those yet because i need to research them oh these ones i also don't know now these are only next jeans they're in a size 16 and I paid five pounds, did I pay five? Yeah, I paid five pounds for these. And they look really unassuming. And the reason I paid five pounds for these is because they are salvage. And I don't know whether it's only men's salvage that do well, but I thought I'd give it a go. I've never sold any salvage jeans before and they do say salvage in the thing as well. So I was doubly sure that they were salvage jeans. Um, and yeah, I don't know whether women salvage do okay. I do need to look these up because I haven't got a clue. Next up is Kin. Oh, there's that squeaky floorboard again. Um, I promise it is the floorboard. Um, a Kin, like big, typical Kin tunicky dress, like an artsy, live and look dress. These sell really well for me. Big sold one a couple of weeks ago for like 35. And I paid eight fifty for this, but I'm confident I could probably get about thirty to thirty five again. They just sell really well. There's a really good following for these. Next is this pair of Gymshark joggers. These are men's Gymshark joggers. Um, my husband picked these up, so I actually don't really know what comps are like. I think he said around about fifteen to twenty, and they were four ninety five. So. Hopefully there'll be a decent a decent marker back, but they were so small. If they're a medium, I may have kept them for myself, but I don't think I'll squeeze into a small. Oh, this is nice. This I do not find Sahara near me anywhere, so this was a good find. This is a Sahara linen vest top. I did pay four ninety five for it, which for a vest top is probably quite a lot, but. I don't ever find Sahara near me, so I got really excited. Um, I'm not really too sure how much it will go for because I never sell Sahara because I never find it. Hopefully 20 at least for that. This I also need to do some research on. This is really lovely. This is my kind of thing. This slouchy, oversized fit. It's my kind of thing, I like it. Um, this is by the brand American Vintage and it is brand new with tags. I've heard quite a few people talk about this brand before. There you go, if that focuses. Um, but I've never actually seen it myself, so 
it feels very nice it doesn't feel very summery i don't think it'll go anytime soon but it was six pound fifty and i thought i'd give it a go but i do need to do some research on it i think this is another yeah another pair of row bowels. this is the navy blue pair it's in the rose 09 again a nice stretchy stretchy skinny pair and they were 4.95 and i'll hope again for around about 20 to 25 on those this is another kin this is just a boxy log and look blouse with pockets it's like a tunicky style in a 10 and it was three pound 90 so hopefully about 20 back on that i would have thought maybe a little more this is white stuff um i do quite well with a white stuff linen jumper which i do believe this is feeling it feels linen-y but these kind of jumpers for white stuff do sell quite well for me yeah it's a linen cotton so that should hopefully be about 20 pounds back on that one in a light pink color and that was five pounds so five into 20. that's a nice bread and butter sale oh this is really nice this is wool overs again um wool overs sells pretty well for me it's not the biggest amount of money but it sells decently enough this is a nice light pink big oversized jumper this is an extra large this is current wool overs label i believe i think that's the label that they use at the minute and this was only three pounds so hopefully i'll be able to get about 20 for that maybe a bit more what's next this is white stuff and i really overpaid for this um the reason i did was because i liked it a lot so i think i put a bit too much emotion into this one but <laughs> it is like a belted dress and i paid eight pound fifty for it for white stuff but i just like it look at the print it's really different it's got the little birds on it and i like the colors but yeah it was eight pound fifty so hopefully i'll try for 25 it's in a 16 i'll try for 25 but even then, eight pound fifteen to twenty five isn't amazing, but I do like it. It was just a little bit. I didn't pay it. Next is a pair of David Nika white trousers, nice wide leg trouser, and these were five pound five ninety five. Um, I've not actually sold a David Nika trouser before, so I don't really know how well these are going to sell, but hopefully they'll be all right. David Nika sells okay, okay for me. But yeah, I've not sold trousers before, so this next one, oh, I love this, and I nearly picked up loads more. They had four of these jackets, but looking at comps, they don't do as well as they used to. This is by the brand Indigo Moon. Um, Indigo Moon, a few years ago when I first started reselling, used to do really, really well. It used to be a brand that you would look out for however it seems to have dropped quite a lot um they did have four of these in different designs um i went for this one because i was really drawn to it they were seven pounds each i'm gonna push for like 30 to 40 but you would you used to get like 50 to 60 but it's just dropped quite a lot but it's gorgeous like the embroidery on this is absolutely stunning i really really think it's a really nice piece it is in a size size small or extra small it's an, an extra small so I, I don't i hope that doesn't hinder it at all but yeah i couldn't leave them all behind there was like i say four of them and i wanted to buy them all but i knew that it wasn't a good idea um one of i think two of them were velvet but quite plain and another one was a full beaded one and i was just worried that I was gonna miss some damage on that one. So I went for this one, because I just loved it. So yeah, I might go for 40 and just and just see how I get on. Oh, this next piece. This next piece I am really in love with and wanna keep, but I'm not going to. Um, If you watch my, if you watch the other haul, the part one, I did say that this charity shop was quite overpriced. Um, This was a mind and they had like Bowdoin dresses for about, 18 pounds um and we were very close to walking out and not buying anything 
but we persevered and I'm really glad we did because we found some good run sojourn if that is how you say it and we found a dress that was in the last haul that was about five pounds something and then we found this beautiful cardigan at three pounds 25 look how stunning this is i'm absolutely in love with this like i want to keep it i'm not going to but i want to keep it um it is wool and angora i think alpaca sorry and a little bit of polymide um i don't know how much this is going to sell for because it's another one of those brands that we never ever find this squeaky floorboard is doing my head in um we don't ever find it but i am going to list it quite high purely because it's one of those i absolutely love it and would definitely keep it if it doesn't sell um it'd be a little big for me but i could wear it oversized it's gorgeous and an extra large it's in really nice condition i think i'm going to list it at about 50 pounds and just hope for the best i've not actually looked at comps yet so if that is really wrong I am going to put it on screen, but I am just shooting in the dark there at £50. Okay, next up. Oh, this is a Joe Browns, but it's brand new with tags. This like summery top. And we paid £6 for it. It's in a size 16, but we paid that because it was new with tags. It just ties at the top. It's like a cold shoulder. And yeah, hopefully we'll get around 20 for that with it being new with tags. Right, this next piece. It could be a fail or it could be a huge bang out. But I will do a bit more research and leave some information on screen. Um, we spent a little bit of time researching it in the shop, but couldn't really find a huge amount. We found lots with a different kind of label and a little bit more added to it. And we found one with this label but we just weren't feeling it a hundred percent however we didn't want to leave it behind because it was only three pounds this is by the brand hanno if you know anything about this brand please leave it any information you have in the comments because we only did a brief bit of research but i am going to do some more after i film this video and leave a bit of information on the screen it might be a dud or it could be a banger um but some of the stuff if we were looking at the right stuff was selling in like the three figures so hopefully we're looking at the right stuff um i just looked at this label and thought it looked it looked a bit nice you know but it was three pound and it's nice like tunicky style oversized shirt it's in a 42 it was three pounds 100 percent cotton and yeah i don't know how much we're going to list it for because I don't know what it's worth yet, but hopefully I'll have put something up on the screen by now and you'll know more than I do at this point. <laughs> Next up is a really nice piece of mint velvet. I really like this. It's a really classic mint velvet -y piece. Mint velvet -y. It's in an extra small, but it's oversized. It's just a nice jumper. I really like it. It needs a bit of a de-bobble. What's the material content? Oh, my nose is itching so much. It always does when I do haul videos because of all the dust and stuff off the clothing. What material are we? Cotton viscose and a tiny bit of cashmere. And it was £6.75. But I should hopefully get 25 for that, I think. Because it's quite nice. I might even shoot for 30 but I think I might be pushing it at 30 Okay, next up, we have a bit of vintage Laura. It is cute. It's not the white label and it's not like made in Great Britain or anything, but it is 100% silk. It's not a maxi, it is just like a baloney and it is only in a 10, so it's more of a modern day 8. But it is gorgeous and it is 100% silk and it was relatively cheap, I think. It was £5.50, so I was quite happy to find that. Hopefully, it'll be a decent one. I think about 40 maybe. Um but i'm not really very good at selling laura ashley so i don't know hopefully about 40 it's cute next is a bit of nw3 that is hobbs if you didn't already know uh, there, come on there you go if you didn't already know that is a line of hobbs it's just a nice pink lightweight knit cardigan and um, that was two pound fifty so we will probably sell that for around 20 ish 
Next is this fat face top. I liked this because it was open at the back, like it opened up a bit and it was just quite nice. It'd be nice to wear with a pair of leggings. Um, quite lightweight with this pretty little print on it. And it was only 350, so maybe 15. Then we've got some more white stuff, another knit. I feel like I'm forever saying that I don't pick up that much white stuff anymore, yet I'm forever showing you white stuff. And this is 100% organic cotton, like a ribbed knit. Can you see that? Is it showing up on camera? And this was 450. And that will hopefully be around about a 20 pound jumper. Now I'm gonna have to swap some hangers around to show you the last bits, because the rest of it didn't fit on hangers. Okay, so I'm back. Ignore how red and puffy my face is. I've just had like a sneezing fit and my nose is really itchy because of all the dust from the clothes. I have the worst dust allergies. Right, we're ignoring this lot because we've already done that. It's just this section now. We haven't got much to go. We obviously ran out of hangers. So we we had, we were one hanger short. Um, so I'll show you this first, this little lonely pair of trousers that wouldn't fit on hangers. These actually might be for me. I picked them up for me, but I haven't actually tried them on yet. So. If they don't sell, uh, if they don't fit, like they'll sell fine. These are vintage St. Michael Marks and Spencers. They were five pounds. And then there's this cute, oh, this floorboard. There's this cute checked trouser. Um, I want some like coloured, not coloured, patterned trousers. But yeah, I'm not sure they're gonna fit. I'm gonna have to roll them up quite a lot to make them fit. But I wanted some funky trousers, so I thought I'd give them a go, but I'm not sure they're going to fit me. I think they're a size 14, but they are a vintage 14, so the prop's not going to fit me. If they don't, I'm sure I can get like 18 maybe for them. Okay. Oh, this set was really sweet. I don't know much about it, so I've got to do a bit more research. Um, because we couldn't find a huge amount on vintage but I couldn't leave it behind because of how sweet it was this is a vintage Wimbledon tennis set look how cute it is it's so adorable um, we paid five pounds for no five for the skirt seven for the top so yeah oh 750 for the top so we paid up a bit um not really knowing much about it we couldn't really find much on ebay about vintage stuff um if i do find some more i'll put up some stuff on screen but the top is just adorable oh look at that it zips up it's got a little elastic waist it's cropped i love it it's really nice i like it i don't sell on depop but this is the sort of thing that would sell on depop I don't sell on Depop purely because the messages do my head in. I just haven't got time for it. <laughs> um, and then there is the skirt. There's the labels, the inside labels for them. They're just so sweet. I like them a lot. It was, again, another emotion emotion thing. I really got to turn my emotions off when I'm sourcing. Can't help it. This was another one. It was, I think it must have been donated by the same person. This is vintage... Lacoste. I don't know much about it. Ooh. Excuse me. There you go. Lacoste Sport. And then the little crock down the bottom. And again, it's a little tennis skirt. If it does check out, like if it's real, I think we paid £6 or £6.50 for it. £6.50. Um, we should be looking at about £30 for it. But again, I just couldn't leave it. Couldn't leave it. Uh, next up is a pair of Lauren Ralph Lauren jeans, but they're not jeans, it just says jeans in the <laughs> label. Um, they are chinos, they're in a size 6, but that's an American 6, I think, judging by the uh, waist. I think they're more of an 8 to 10, but I will measure them. These were £2.99, so I was going to take them. There is the label, I don't actually know anything about that label. But I will do do my research. Hopefully there'll be a 20 to 25 pounds at least. But for 2.99, I thought my money would say. These I need to do research on. 
these are a scada sport a pair of jeans i need to do my research on these because i don't know anything about them um but they were four pound fifty so i thought i'd give them a go just to learn about them if nothing else and there's the patch on the back but yeah i thought i'd pick them up to learn about them um in the pockets i've got some embroidery on as well so i'll do my research and see these are hubs little white shorts little cotton white shorts i paid six pounds fifty for these so a bit too much really but i will put them up for like 22 23 pounds and hope to get about 20 for them this was another nice piece of Gudrun Sojourn. This was in a different shop though. There you go. It is actually in an extra large though, like the other pieces, but it was in a different shop. And this was four pounds. It's um it is like almost cordy, but maybe not quite, because it's stretching like bodycon, maybe. I don't know. I'm not very good at keywords, I don't know how I sell things half the time to be honest with you. Oh, next I picked these up because I love them. I just thought they were well cute. They're proper vintage. Like, I might keep them. And they were one ninety nine. No, one forty nine. They're just well cute. Two forty nine. Maybe they were two forty nine. I don't know. Two and then a one and maybe they were twenty one forty nine. Who knows? But they're adorable. I'll try and sell them for fifteen. But I also might keep them. We will see. Oh, I love this absolutely love this i don't pick up whistles very much anymore because it doesn't really shift for me but look at that skirt that is beautiful really nice color animal print which is really popular there we go it's in a size 12 and it was six pounds so i was going to pick that up i'm going to sneeze bless me so yeah i was going to pick that up and um, hopefully about 25 for that i think these are a pair of jewels shorts and the reason i picked these up is because they're in a size 20 so i thought they'd do quite well and they've got the little bunny on somewhere i'm not sure where but there is a little bunny on them somewhere and they were four pound four pound fifty so i thought they'd do okay maybe i don't know maybe get about 15. and then last but not least to actually finish the haul finally <laughs> is a pair of white company if you can even see that um again a classic white company color just a beige nude um just lightweight trouser really good for this time of year and i paid how much for them 5.75 and i reckon i'll be able to get 20 ish for them and that is it that is everything apart from the brick rack which i will do in a separate haul that is all the clothing from our little trip up to York and around that area. We went to a, a couple of little places around York as well. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already watched part one, it will be linked somewhere, probably at the beginning of this video. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I am trying to hit 2,000 subscribers hopefully i will get there soon i think i'm on about like 1600 or something like that in a minute so i've got quite a climb quite a way to go but fingers crossed i will get there at some point before the summer um thank you so much for watching i really appreciate each and every one of you have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye everybody